Hi guys, welcome back with new video. I am Salinder. This is my SL Dev Code YouTube channel. In this video, we will be looking how to create COVID-19 live stats app using React. Those data coming from API. I will explain those things later. Let's go to the video. This is a COVID-19 tracker. This is uh, so this is a API. Those links I will put in my description. It is a metroid.id so we can see confirmed data recovered data and deaths data and we can see latest update date also if you want to get data country wise you can type countries and enter uh, you can uh, yes now you can see all the countries data those data coming from this api this all the data so so this is the main API uh, we'll see uh, now you have to go to your project folder and type C, uh, cmd and enter now I am going to create react app type npx create react app now you have to uh, type your folder name project folder name I will type COVID-19 uh, and enter uh, it takes few times to install packages in your computer we will see what's going uh, installing Mm, installing packages in your computer I think it takes few times uh, I will pause the video and come back later I think it's a very suitable uh, yes installing yes now successfully install packages in your computer now you have to path this project folder cd type your project folder name and enter and run the code npn start uh, we'll see what's going yes it's working working fine yes now you have to now i will open my vs code using command font you have to type uh, code dot enter we'll see it's open or not yes visual code visual studio vs code is open yes yes it's open now I am going to code VS using VS code uh, public there is a public and SRC folder now you have to delete some files those files are not important that's why I delete those files we'll see what are the files you have to delete I will select these files and app.js app.test.js index.css index.js logo svg setup test delete move to recycle bin and also you have to delete uh, setup test js also but you have to but don't delete src and public uh, src and public folder don't delete those folders are very important favor the index.htl logo 192png logo 512png those files also i will delete yes move to recycle yes now right click the public folder and type index.html yes create write that write those things covid19 updates id is root you have to write this you have to code those lines 
I will create new folder index.js yes you have to type those things also import react import react dom also now I will type uh, create uh, app.js files also import uh, react from react those lines are common uh, I think it's a wrong uh, yes app.j file I'll create it's wrong sorry it's my mistake you have to create index uh, app.js file you have to tell it uh, no, not not index not app.js file it's wrong apt uh, app.js file you have to create yes it's fine now type import react from react colon yes now i am going to install another package axios package i have to install npm install axios which is in libraries data used from http request yes it also takes some time to install those packages in your computer in your project we'll see what's going uh, i think i will pause the video and come back so takes some time yes now it's completed uh, i will quote few lines regarding app.js this is the axios import confirm recovered deaths and country wise uh, component did come out this is the uh, api we will run the code and see and this is the api this api is here confirm recovered deaths api now i will run the code npn start npm start now it, it will display or not yeah. it will be displayed covid 19 only covid 19 display in the browser we'll see it's displayed or not COVID-19 is printed yes it's okay uh, I will create container class to get confirm case recover case and death cases uh, yes it also working those those data come into browser you have to type this dot state dot confirm this dot state dot recover this dot state dot deaths uh, now you can call your api and get the data mm, create style.cs file yes now you have to uh, design your website using this style.css part import you have to import this import style.css now it will directly communicate with app.js file uh, now you have to code those lines and we will run the code and we will see output npm start we'll see what's going it's uh, yes data yes it's working data is coming those data coming from that, that api metroid.id api yes you can resize like this yes uh, now you have to 
enter flex class also I will import it inside the render and yes it's okay working fine uh, now I am going to give a name for app COVID-19 updates we'll see run and yes open div and close div we'll see yes it's also coming from the web browser <sighs> basics are all okay now now you have to design it box.confirm box.recover box.dates now it, you have you give colors for those uh, boxes um, now we will see yes it's nice i think it's nice confirm cases recover classes and dead data yes it, it can resize uh, yes it's fine uh, now you have to get countries data so see this is the old data this this api now you have to get country wise data those data you have to get in your, into your project to your web browser so this copy this link and mm, type those lines this is the render country option and i will i will put countries api also now you have to give search box inside the render class render method yes that also i give this is the mm, we will run the project and see yes drop down is ok now you have to but this country wise data not accessing your api now you have to do it not uh, web browser is not changing data you get country data you have to type those things and you have to create construct this and we will run the code and we'll see mm, I will select one country and we'll see data change or not yes data is changing it's working now uh, we'll check again now you have to uh, few designs or in style.cs is fine now I will decorate my drop down button yes it's nice yes yes resize it's working now I will change countries yes data is update yes get changing yes updated country wise now right click the uh, Sri Lanka yes confirm now right -click. yes go to inspect mm, nice this is a tab version this is a mobile version you can change if you want I will select iPhone X, iPhone X, yes, Galaxy S5, iPad, all 
Ola suitable for this app? Yes. iPod next. Uh, this is the full code. I will upload it in my GitHub and put in my put in this link uh, in my description. You can download it, it and try. This is the code. This is the code. I think you can get some idea. It's working fine. That's the index.js file. That's the style.css file. Yes, that, that is the video. I hope you enjoy this video. So there is a comment section. If you have any questions, you can ask. Do subscribe, like and share. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.